Hey guys, what the f is up? Hope you're having a good day. And I hope you're ready to learn. All right, so today uh, we're gonna go over what I call string skipping, um, but instead of putting it in an exercise or something like that, we're gonna put it into a riff and then uh, you know mess around with it and uh, break it down. So let's fly into that riff and here we go. So that's the riff. Let's uh, fly into this sucker. So it's open on the second string on the eighth fret. So it's open on the second string on the eighth fret. And we're in drop D, as usual. So it's open, one note, then three strokes palm muted on the low string. Like that. That's the entire pattern, okay? Now you're lifting up on this second string to get that open. And then palm mute in the low string. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then the second part of the riff is we're just moving down to the seven. And then the third part is the five. And then the three. But it's just that same pattern over and over again. here is to get a nice clean open and then palm mute there like so and the other goal is to get you used to lifting your hand up your, your palm to get that open and then going back down to get the closed okay Just keep in mind that the open note is always on the one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That open is always your starting note. Let's play a little bit faster uh, just so you know how it sounds. There you have it. Now once you get that down, you can do all kinds of things with that, you know, start throwing in the hammer-ons and the pull-offs. Um, and you can also go to the triplets like we were working on the last video. Possibilities are endless, but I felt like this was a good starting point because you can really slow that down. And then build on it from there. As usual, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe.